Hi there! Today's all about painting a watercolour peacock and I have to admit I have shied away from peacocks because they're already ridiculously beautiful and when Catherine Howard from Cut Glass Gallery sent me this challenge I thought that all my work was done for me already because her um, glass work that she has made already has the perfect outline for the peacock so I did kind of feel like I was cheating a little bit. If you haven't seen Catherine's glass work you need to go over to her Facebook page which is Cut Glass Gallery and she has some videos of herself creating the glass work which I find really really interesting and hopefully um, you will give it a like and follow along and hopefully she will make some more videos because they are really really interesting. This peacock, I actually think it's the one that I saw when we were exhibiting at Crick together. So we had a stall at Crick, uh, Kath and I, for Art by Anna Marie and Catherine and her husband had a stall for Cut Glass Gallery and sometimes in the downtimes we would start chatting and she showed me this amazing peacock and it's just stunning so I'm so impressed that she and so grateful that she sent the picture through. So if you're painting along at home what I started off doing was doing a circle in pencil on the paper. I've only done an A5, I think it's half an A4 this painting and then I put the feathers or these kind of triangular feathers in an arc and then I went in to the inside of the peacock and I decided to do some bright green feathers coming off the main, I kind of want to call it the stem of the peacock. Interestingly here I just wanted to put a little bit of extra gold in the feathers and if you add gold onto a wet um, pigment it won't look bright straight away so don't be frightened but what it does as it dries the gold kind of floats to the top and it will take over the other colour and it becomes really sparkly in certain lights and I kind of wanted that for the peacock. try to be as exact as you can with the lines of this peacock because it does have a stained glass kind of effect and remember when you put the pigment on your paintbrush when you lift your paintbrush the pigment will stay behind unless you gather some of it up what I like to do is get some clear water after while it's still wet and I put a dot of clear water where the paint was and then over time as it's drying that clear water spreads the paint out and I thought this was a really good technique with the stained glass window because it creates that extra kind of frame which stained glass is kind of known for. I really gave special consideration to the colours in this peacock. I feel like Catherine had a, well it was actually a really challenging challenge because the colours in the glass they pop so much and then to try to convey that onto a white piece of paper where I, when I wasn't keeping any of the white and a lot of the time when you're using white in watercolour it will um, add an extra dimension but in this case 
I had to really think about the colours and so what I tried to do was use some colours that aren't necessarily blended together in real life to because the peacock I think is quite a magical creature so I wanted to use these colours that I, I wouldn't usually put together to make an animal and also kind of let them blend into each other at times so that it was just it looked a little bit I wanted it to look a little bit more special I really would like you to give this one a go at home I think that the structure and the line of this peacock is really easy for beginners and even if you're not a beginner and you're just somebody who hasn't painted in a while I think that if you follow the way that this peacock was started and you just you you do your feathers on the outside and then you just really get into a zone with trying to add a little bit of color here and a bit of color there and I think that that's a really great project if you haven't painted in a little while or even if this is going to be your first painting. be great if you could give this one a go at home and put a link to the picture put the picture on Anna Marie's big painting challenge because I'd really like to see if anybody else decides to put the orange with the green it's actually one of my favorite color combinations because it's so contradictory and it's just in my mind it's very 70s and in my mind peacocks are very 70s as well um, so that's what I decided to do and then I really slowed down with this painting and it took quite a long time in the end I had to come back and do several visits to it because transferring the idea from a glass drawing um, and a very clever glass drawing was actually quite tricky to imitate the lines and to decide on the color so I did come back to it a few times. I wasn't 100% sure whether or not to do the orange darker than I've done it or if I should put in some black. And um, I haven't actually glazed very much of it. So I was kind of having all these, you know, making all these decisions. And you can see here in some of the feathers I've left, I've tried to leave a little bit of white in between that's just kind of happened accidentally. Um, and... I wanted to keep that to add a little bit of dimension but I'd be really interested to see what yours looks like and um, especially if you did a different colour combination.
I enjoyed painting this peacock so much I want to run a competition to reward everybody that has been following on Anna Marie's painting challenge on Facebook. So I'm going to run the competition in the Facebook group site and it's going to, to enter the competition to win this painting in particular. Um, what you have to do is you have to enter your own painting and then I'm randomly going to select one of the paintings out of a bag or out of a hat or something like that or a random generator and then somebody's going to win this painting and I think that that would just be so fantastic first of all to see everybody entering and to see all of the ideas and for everybody to comment and be up building and just awesome about everybody giving it a go and also you can have the opportunity of winning you can enter as many times as you want you can you know make five of these peacocks and then your entry will go in five times you can share it with friends you can invite people to the group and uh, you can share your paintings on Facebook and Twitter and um, and then somebody I think I'll let the competition probably run for about two weeks because I know it does take a bit of time to get your watercolors out or pencils or crayons or pens or however you're deciding to enter um, it takes a little bit of time especially with other commitments so I'm going to run the competition for two weeks and then I'm going to announce the winner on Art by Anna Marie uh, either on this uh, actually on this YouTube channel so good luck with that the details for entering the competition will be in the description below as usual thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and for all of your awesome feedback it really is inspiring when people say they're going to give painting a go and that this has made it look as though it's something that they could try themselves so thank you so much for your feedback and for your comments